Ninety second nerd. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to Ninety Second Nerd's review of Barker's Row. I'm Dallas, and my ninety seconds start now. Barker's Row was on Kickstarter about a year ago. I picked it up there from Overworld Games. You play the role of a Barker attracting rubes to your carnival to watch your attractions. Uh, what drew me to it initially is the art. The art in this game is fantastic. Also, I'm a sucker for components, and this game has fantastic components. Overall, the theme on this game is fantastic. They encourage you to play the role of the Barker and announce your attractions as you play them. The most interesting game-wise piece of this game is the shared resources. There's a midway, which all Barker cards go out to, and you're trying to put together numbers of cards so that you can play your attractions. But the same cards that you're using as your resources are the same ones that your opponents are using. So if they use them the round before you, they're not available for you anymore. And I think it's great to find a game with interesting mechanics that set it apart from other games. I find that this game plays best at two. At four, sometimes you can get left behind a little bit. But it's still a fun game, especially with the group you're in if they get into it and really like announce their attractions. One thing to note about this game is Overworld Games has an active Kickstarter right now for a game called New Salem and its expansion. Uh, and you can actually get Barker's Row by backing New Salem and then adding it on or doing the all-in pledge. So for me, this game is a buy it. Uh, and, and the best way to do that right now is to go to Kickstarter, back it, uh, get it that way, and support their new game too. My name is Dallas and my 90 seconds are up. Be sure to like and subscribe and we'll see you next time.